Uh, today we're bottling, and the experiment is what would happen, what will happen, when we dry hop directly into the bottle. Um, could be awful, could be great, you might have tried it, um, I haven't seen anything about it, so uh, I don't know, so it's just going to be a fun experiment. Um, maybe we'll do some blind tastings at the end and uh, see what see what a couple of people think, so yeah, stay tuned and see what happens. get this done um, and then we'll dry hop into our three bottles. I think three is enough for a test. All right, bye. All right, so we've bottled and it's time for our crazy dry hop. I've got my sanitized spoon to fish out some little guys. We've got cascade hops because uh, I had a look at the recipe and that's what I dry hop with. So here goes. Just don't want a massive one. Alright, there we go. Oh, there we go. In he goes. Nothing yet. <laughs> right, yeah. Do two more of these. Try and get them all similar size, I reckon. Or should I do medium, big, small? Alright, this one's going to be a bigger one. Okay, so we're going to go big, medium, and we'll do a small one with this one. And then I'll write down on the lid what's going on. Right, there we go. So I reckon it's floating on top. I reckon the smallest one, that one, the medium was about double the smallest, and the large one was about double the medium. Which is nice. Right, there we go. I'll cap them, and in two weeks we'll taste them. All right, thanks for watching. This is my superfluously hopped pale ale. Now, you remember that we did um, a really small pellet, a half pellet, and a full size pellet. Um, but because I'm the only one trying these today, um, I can't be opening four bottles. I'll be drunk and I have kids to look after. So, I'm just going to. Oh, we've got a gusher. Okay, well, that tells us something already, eh? That's the one that had the hop in it. <laughs> See what happens here. Far more reasonable. Rightio. Um, so I'm going to leave that there to settle, and then a little bit I'll get my wife to come in, pour the beers, and we'll see if um, the flavours are different. <laughs> but. Okay, so here we go, it's the taste test. We've got a blind triangle. Uh, my wife's put two of one of them in and one of the other. Um, and I don't know which. We've got Wild Style, Lima, and Metal Beard Cups. And there's nothing left to do but taste them now. So, cheers. It's beer. Those two are different, I reckon. Alright. That one, oh. That one tastes like a normal one. And maybe that one does, but it's not a massive difference, I've got to say. Alright. I feel like these two are unhopped. I feel like this one's probably dry hopped. 
But the difference isn't as stark as I expected. So, alright, yeah, I'm just wild style. That was, did I say no hop? Let's try this again. Mm. It's not, an, it's. I reckon it's more bitter, even though obviously dry hopping isn't about bittering, but I'd say that's more bitter. So maybe that's to be expected, and I just don't know anything. Okay, so that's with hop, and metal beads, I feel like that's definitely no hop. So. So hang on. There's my answers. Wild, wild style, no hop. Uh, Lima, dry hopped. Metal beard, no hop. I'm going to look at my wife's answers. Oh no! So I got these two right and the first one wrong. Hmm. This one is really bubbling. Okay. So there you go. I'm actually really surprised at how not different they were. Um, this one's, to me, these are diff these feel different. Mm. Mm, it's subtle. This one looks different. It's obviously got less junk in it. Let's have a look. All right. I don't know if we can see that. I think that one's got a bit of the tree. A bit of that plant has fallen in there, so dis disregard that. And then that's the one, it's a, uh, you can see the bubbles, but. I don't know. Um, I don't know what conclusions we draw from that, except I got it wrong. Well, I got two right, um, and got one wrong, so. Yeah, we lost a lot of beer from the gush. Um, so I would suggest don't dry hop in the bottles. It's A, pointless, B, wasteful, um, yeah, and C, just don't bother. All right, that's it. That's the experiment. Thanks for watching uh, Red BMX Brew House and subscribe. I've only got one video, but there might be more one day. <laughs> See ya. Uh, so I'm just in the aftermath of my experiment, trying the, um, the pale ale that I added the, the hot pellet to the bottle, and to be honest, it's just not a particularly nice beer. Um, and I've been drinking this um, this batch, and it's been a really nice beer. I've enjoyed it a lot. Um, but I don't have all the words about mouthfeel and whatever. But um, it smells okay. It looks, it's very cloudy. There's lots of junk in there, which is obviously to be expected. Um, but yeah, I just don't especially want to drink it, so I'm not going to. Okay, so there it is. I'm, I'm not drinking that. That's our hopped, dry, dry bottle hopped, bottle hopped, dry hopped, bottle, bottle dry hopped, bottle dry hopped uh, ale. That's our um, normal one, and that's a nice looking beer. So, like I said, don't dry up in bottles. It's pointless and wasteful. Um, and you won't want to drink your beer afterwards, which is obviously uh, not in keeping with the point of home brewing. So, thanks for watching. Bye.